I think what we're looking at here is the doorway into a 12th century tower. I mean, it's right. magnificent. Inside, you've got the floor, and then you go out through the doorway over the threshold. That's that big stone down That's there. That's that big see, slab yeah. there. And then you're outside the building. Yep. And then our trench turns right and goes down the hill. And what the trench has done is, is cut through a range of buildings along that side. Yeah which are later 13th century, and I think probably are, are, are likely to be a stable block. They've got a, a central sort of walkway going through. And we've got no l later 13th century pottery from there anyway, no. have we? So it, it's not domestic. No, I don't place. think it is. So we know these big earthworks sketched long ago in Harold's field are not the remains of Harold's Saxon hunting tower. And we can now reveal to the villagers what was under the lumps and bumps. The main building we unearthed was a Norman fortified tower house, likely to have been three storeys high. Next to it there was a stable block, and these earthworks are likely to be a courtyard with ancillary buildings set around it. Encircling the hill was this deep ditch, and the impressive route in was across this causeway, with the creek on one side and a large lake of spring water on the other. This was the home of the local lord, but not the centre of power as it was in Harold's day, because in Norman times, their base was at Chepstow Castle down the road. But what I hoped for was something to link this field with Harold. Did we get any pre-conquest pottery? We've got some of the earliest medieval pottery ever found in Wales. Really? Uh, it's very exciting. But is any of it proof that the Saxons were here? We've just got a fragment out now. It could well be you know, pre-Norman, uh, almost certainly, but... Which we'll, bit's that? It's a very small piece there. Oh. Right. It's not too fanciful, then, to say that this could be from the time of King Harold? No, not at all, because we know it's that much earlier in the sequence. Well, it's not much, but finding this from a time when there simply wasn't much pottery feels like discovering the Holy Grail. This is chaff-tempered ware, and it's Saxon. I can hardly believe it. We can tell the locals that we found evidence of activity here just before the Norman Conquest. And for me, it's proof enough that Harold was here. Our historian Sam is convinced that Harold would have built his hunting lodge on this important hill, intending it to stand out as a symbol of new power to anyone arriving in the creek below. So basically what we've discovered is that this is a really classy place yep. and if you didn't know it already, you're really <laughs> posh people to live here. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.